You know, every time a haboob or a giant dust storm forms, people ask us how that is possible. So this is how it works. First, you got to have a dusty terrain with a thunderstorm of some kind above it. I say thunderstorm because it needs a pretty decent sized updraft. That is air that's moving up from the ground and into the cloud. It has to be strong enough to suspend some of the rain up aloft where it starts to evaporate and cool down. Now, once it cools down enough, it gets heavier than the air around it. So it very rapidly falls. You have wind that's coming back down, so a strong downdraft along with some of that precipitation, and it creates wind coming out of the storm in all directions. This is what's known as a gust front, and this gust front extends out, moves away from the rain, and picks up all the dust that's on the ground. So you have this burst of air coming out along the gust front, and it's kicking up dust along the way. You better watch out. You do not want to be there when that dust is moving your way.